What's up, mobile devs? Today, we are going to understand the concept behind the interpolate color function from Genimated 2. And in order to do that, we will build together this amazing animation. So right here, we can see that actually we are interpolating three things. We are interpolating the background color of our main view, the background color of our circle view, and the color of our text. So I prepared this animation by thinking about the switch theme action on a lot of apps today. But let me know in the comments if you think to other use cases where, where we can apply the interpolate color function. So let's start with our tutorial. Here I have already created a React Native project by using Expo CLI. I've already defined some colors that we will use later, so uh, the color for the dark team and for the light team. We will just use three different colors, one for the background, one for the circle and the last one for our text. And I have defined also a switch track color that uh, we will assign to the track color property from the switch component. We will see, in a, in, we will see later what I'm talking about. And uh, I've already installed the React Native reanimated as uh, usual. With the, we need at least version 2.0. And on the bubble config JS, uh, I uh, I've specified the React Native reanimated plugin in order to enable the workload keyword. So we can already start to define our switch. So I'm using the switch from React Native. Here we go. Let's assign, uh, actually, let's handle the switch value. So we can see that it isn't work, uh, working properly. To handle the switch behavior, we need to uh, store uh, his state in uh, a React native state. So let's define team and set team with use state hook from React. We, uh, I specified the light team as uh, initial value. Let's define the team type. So the team can be light or dark. And let's specify here that we are uh, using a state of type team. So we need to handle the value property and the on value change property. So um, the value, the switch is actually enabled when we have the dark team, so when team is equal to dark, and otherwise uh, it will be the we will have the light team. So when the switch is uh, enabled right here, we will have the dark mode, otherwise the light mode, and uh, we need to handle the on value change callback. We can handle the boolean value. So when the switch is toggled we need to set the dark team, otherwise the light team. So let's see if everything is working. So we can see that uh, the switch is uh, set up fine. And let's assign the switch track color property. I defined right here the color and uh, I'm just uh, changing basically the default color with the violet. So let's uh, assign also the thumb color, the violet color to the thumb color. So everything is fine. So I believe we can already start to think how to deal with the, the background color. So the background color that we will interpolate in a while. So in order to animate the background color, of course, we need to convert our React Native view in a reanimated view. So I'm using animated from React Native reanimated. And we need to specify our reanimated style by using use animated style hook. So I will return for now just uh, uh, background color. So let's say colors.light.background. Uh, this value is basically this one. So it's uh, almost white. And let's assign this color, the reanimated style, to our uh, animated view styles. So everything, uh, almost nothing uh, changed. Um, 
so before the background color was entirely white right now we have this uh, value that is almost white so we need to find a way to interpolate the color and to deal with color interpolation i will use uh, the interpolate color from reanimated so let's say background color equal uh, to interpolate color and uh, what we need to handle the interpolate color we need a value of type number so we need a shared value of type number we need an input range and an output range so let's start to define our uh, shared value of type number so i will say progress as use shared value e uh, equal to number to zero uh, so the initial value will be zero and let's handle progress value in input range and output range so actually the idea behind interpolate color is that we want to animate our number in order to interpolate this value with this input range and this output range so let's define our input range as 0 1 so our progress value will be will change between 0 and 1 and when our progress value will be equal to 0 our back we want that the background color so not colors will be equal to colors dot light dot background so when the progress value is equal to zero our background color will be light otherwise when our progress value is equal to one our progress value our background color will be equal to dark background so actually we need to assign this background color right here so this is the same as before and uh, of course nothing will change so let's see we can see that nothing is changing and that's because our progress value is always equal to zero so actually our progress uh, should change but should change uh, um, should re um, in, in a certain way it should be derived from our current team so if our team is uh, equal to um, dark, our progress value should be equal to, to one. Otherwise, if the team, the current team is light, our progress value should be equal to zero. So we need to derive our team. And in order to do that, we can use another hook that is, that is called use derived value. So basically use derived value return a shared value but uh, enable us to deal with some computation so for instance right now um, the behavior of the use the right value is almost the same as a use shared value so we want that when our team is equal to dark our progress value is equal to one otherwise it is equal to zero so since uh, our uh, progress value depends on team we need to specify our dependencies right here in our uh, derived value and we need to specify team so here we go let's see if something is changing so we can see that actually the background color is changing but we are not interpolating fine our background color and that's because our progress value will change between 0 and 1 but uh, it will never reach the value between 0 and 1 so our progress value can be just 1 or 0 so in order to update our progress value in a smooth way we can use the with timing function from reanimated so let's see if it is working so we can see that everything is wor is, is working uh, in a smooth way so actually, if you are not familiar with the with timing function or with use animated style, use shared value and so on and so forth, I really recommend you to check out my previous course, my previous uh, videos uh, on uh, on reanimated on this channel. So let's going forward. I think that we have already unlocked basically the power of interpolate color and uh, we can start to define our circle. So our circle will be an animated view because we will animate the background color 
and let's specify right here style as styles.circle so let's define right here the circle style so let's define the size of our circle our circle will cover the 70% uh, of uh, our screen width so let's say dimension get window width uh, multiplied by 0 0.7 and let's say width uh, the width of our circle will be equal to size height will be equal to size and uh, let's add a background color just to see what's going on so we need to center the switch in the middle of the screen so let's just use align items and justify content and of course we don't need a square we need a circle so let's specify border radius with size divided by two here we go so um, I think we need some shadow so let's say shadow offset equals to width 20 high 20 and just to see something let's specify shadow opacity equal to 1 so let's say with 0 let's uh, say let's add some uh, shadow radius and let's uh, decrement our sh shadow opacity so let's say let's update our red color with white and I think this is almost uh, perfect. So actually, I believe, but I'm not sure about that, that uh, actually shadow offset, shadow radius, and the shadow opacity will just work on iOS. So to enable it on Android, to enable a kind of shadow on Android, we need to play with the elevation property. So let's going forward. As uh, you can see, actually, we haven't interpolated uh, the color of our circle, and we need to deal with that. So in order to do it, we can almost, almost do the same, uh, we can replicate the same logic as before. So let's just replicate our reanimated style, and let's rename it as a reanimated circle style. So actually let's say reanimated circle style right here and we want to basically interpolate the same background color property we want to use the same derived value the same input range but we need to update our output range so right here we don't want to use the background color but we want the circle color that i defined right here so colors.dark.circle and colors.light.circle so when uh, in progress value is equal to, one, to zero we want actually the circle light the light circle otherwise we want the dark circle let's see if everything is working so we can see that everything is working nicely and uh, we need just to add our text so let's add our text right here i'm using a text from a react native let's say team so here we go we need to play a little bit with style of course so let's say styles.text let's specify font size as 70 let's specify let's make everything uppercase so let's say text transform uppercase font weight equals to 700 let's add some spacing between letters so let's say 12 or 14 yeah 14 is fine and we need to uh, add some uh, distance between circle and text so let's say margin bottom equals to equal to 35 so here we go so we need to animate our text to deal with uh, animate uh, uh, with uh, with animation uh, for our text as before we need to use animated text so we need uh, actually to handle our style reanimated style for our text 
so let's say let's copy the the code as before because the logic is almost the same so let's specify reanimated text style and i think actually we uh, we don't need to use the background color property because we want to animate our text color so let's say color right here and right here and uh, Actually, we need just to uh, add our reanimated text style right here. And we need to update our output range. So we can use the same derived value, the same input range, and we need just to, to change our output range. So here we want to use the text color that I define here. So the color we need colors.dark.text and colors.light.text. So let's see if everything is working fine. So we can see that everything is working in a smooth way. I believe that actually this animation was extremely simple but extremely powerful. Let me know what you think about this animation in the comments in the section below. So thanks a lot to uh, stay with me all, the, all that time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content.